the the only other thing I was going to say, since you guys were talking so much about Munich, was like, um, and this is just a stupid observation, but I just was like looking right now at the filmography. I mean, it is definitely like one of the two best movies that you could say uh, Eric Bana was the lead of. I mean, because he's so underused in Hollywood and he's so good, but he just doesn't get starring roles that much. Yeah, he's one of those guys who, like, I mean, I remember watching Troy and just thinking when he gets into that fight with Brad Pitt, uh, you're like, I know that he's going to die, but I want him to win. I really want Eric Banner to win because he's just so likable. (laughs) I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that that's uh, what Wolfgang wanted. Yeah. Um, uh, those and by the way, those are back to back movies for him. Like, I, I would say, since Troy is a big uh ensemble film, and considering that he's right there on the cover as big of a character as um, as or as big of a um image as um Brad Pitt in that uh, on the cover of the movie, I mean, I, I would argue that he's like a kind of a co lead, you know, I mean, because he has a lot more. Sc- he has a lot more relevance to the story than, than Orlando Bloom does. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, anyway, I don't yeah. know if, if you could kind of argue that since so like, maybe it's like Hulk, Troy, Munich. Um, I don't think he's a lead in the other bowling girl. I think it's the two sisters really more than anything. I mean, he's the oh, villain God. in Star Trek, but he's not the lead, you know, Um Time Traveler's Wife, he's one of the two main characters, I guess. But that's not a great movie, you know? I feel um, like he's, uh, I mean, he definitely had a moment there. But to me, uh, the the best comparison I can make uh, for him is, like, Adrian Brody. Yes. It's, it's like, someone that had, like, a very big moment, like, with, with the um, the pianist. Sure. And, and, um, and he wrote that for a bit. And now he's just like a character actor and he does this, he does that. He shows yeah. up like everywhere. Um, Both of them but, are fantastic as character actors, but it's very, very tough to find a, a, a leading vehicle for them. It's, yes. It just is like it, whether it's the face, it's the charisma, whatever it is, it's just very tough. Like, so, so those actors tend to keep working. I'm assuming both of them still work fairly yeah. consistently if they choose to. Um, Cause um, they're good. They're good actors, but but the um, but there's like this like star quality or charisma or whatever it is that like that DiCaprio and the Brad Pitts of the world have that you just can't like you know you can't put your right. finger on it. They just you either have it or you don't. A great yeah. lesson from the other Boleyn girl is that the Panavision Genesis should never have been a camera that people ever <laughs> used on anything. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Um, I, I I mean like Gil Gil I remember this you know, like we went to go see Atonement and mm-hmm. you were pissed off at me because I took you away from other things that were going on in your life to go see Atonement. But yep. okay. <laughs> I believe tra- you. <laughs> but a trailer in front of Atonement was the other Boeing girl. And I turned to you the moment that that trailer popped up and said, Genesis. I actually said that to you. <laughs> I actually turned to you and said, like, oh, yeah, that, that was shot on the Genesis. It looks like plastic. It has always looked like plastic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Something about that camera. I mean, definitely. I mean, I think the big example for me is... Uh, Superman Returns. Definitely. Sure. Oh yeah, God. Wasn't yeah. that that um? Wasn't that really good? Uh, Don Cheadle, Adam Sandler movie, also shot of the Genesis. Uh, and when I say uh, good, I mean me? good in yeah, Rain Over Me. Good in spite yeah, of. So oh, yeah, that's true. That was a decent movie. That was. Uh, it oh, just looked how the hell do I remember bad. that that was shot on the Genesis? That came. I out only like remember because of our conversations with you. <laughs> and it's a very yeah. digital looking movie for sure. Yeah, extremely. Yeah. I, a good I, movie too. Just looks really digital. Yeah, it, and like it, like it, you said, plastic. It looks very plastic. Yeah, right. I, I, I mean, how do you actually? Put images on screen of Natalie Portman and Scarlett Johansson 
and it's just like I I I actually don't want to look at this. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> an example of a movie that works really, really well that looks very digital, almost plasticky, is Collateral. Collateral is a very digital looking movie, but but the but the the way the camera is used is, and the story is captivating. So the movie works. I can't explain it. Well, half of it was shot on film. Uh, yeah, that may have, that's true. But but uh, but the vi- the digital stuff looks horrible. Like it, it looks very yeah. digital, but it works. Uh, same thing with like uh, they when they shot the the XL two whatever the you know the the twenty eight hours later what was the the Killian Murphy the uh, twenty eight days later. 28 days was it like yeah the first one the, yeah, the one that yeah, they yeah, shot 28 days later days, then there yeah. was 28 weeks and uh, we're about to get 28 years yeah yeah so the 28 Yay. days later that was the one that was shot on the xl2 whatever that camera the, that yeah. was popular at the time uh, it looked insanely digital but it works uh, so it depends on the movie like you really but yeah you, you don't want to shoot happen. but the genesis was a was a crappy digital looking camera that people were trying to shoot massive movies on. That was the issue with yeah. that camera. You right. Know. I, the other Bowling Girl was a clear example of a movie that should have been shot on film, especially at that time. Yeah. I mean, it, that was pre Alexa. Uh, so, like, I mean, yeah, to it, this day, I make the argument that, like, that uh, I think that Blade Runner. 2049 should have been shot on film i mean I, as much as i i love I, roger deakins and it's a great looking movie that movie great. is way too clean for the blade runner world I, it was I, just I, way too clean i i i am i i am going to agree with you <laughs> and uh i mean the least of, they could have done is like throw us some grain in there like some digital yeah. grain like there's a way to add grain to digital the digital look but he likes that clean look and it looks nice, but it's just not Blade Runner, especially. And I hate the first Blade Runner, but but I feel like if you've established like a dirty look, you know, give us some texture, like just a bit more texture would have been nice instead of a kaleidoscope of colors that are super, super sharp. <laughs> you know, but that's just, that's just me. Um, just really I, quick, I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but um, go ahead. Sorry, uh, like Gil, I, I mean, I I've served as your cinematographer on several movies at this point. Have we actually ever shot on film? No, no, no. But, but what I would do okay. is if I was going to shoot a digital, yeah. I, I would just like either shoot at like a high ISO to have some, some grain, or I would add some grain in post. Like, I'm just saying like, I, I would find a way like to, to add texture, you know, I would shoot it on like funky lenses to make it a little bit blurry like Deacons oh, is not I mean, into that. He wants a sharp, sharp, sharp image that he yeah. usually doesn't adjust in any way. And I, I guess his lighting is always brilliant, but but his movies ever since the digital age are just insanely sharp, and it doesn't suit every single movie. Not nineteen seventeen, the same thing. I, I just like I know it needed to be digital, but it didn't need to be as clean. It could have been a bit dirtier. It could have been like a maybe like a some some like vintage lenses or something they could have used there to just give it a bit more of like a world war one look and if and when my next directorial project gets made skyfall uh, it suit it suited him that's a modern james bond of course shoot that as sharp as you want that makes sense yeah i I, i'm just uh, saying no, no, I, I'm just looking forward to my next uh, directorial project because I, you know, uh, Gil, I already talked to, to you about uh, being my camera op, and we're finally going to shoot on film. <laughs> <laughs>